this is our first year here. So there's some good things. A couple things that we didn't like. Definitely a show that we would come back to. Yeah, they do have quite a lot here. Definitely a day's worth of walking. It's like a, a zoo. It doesn't suck the energy out of you. Right, like right. Shows do. So we're not going to edit that out. Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV and we're at the 2023 Maryland RV Show. In this video, we're going to tell you some things we like, some things we don't like, and what to expect when you come to the show. So we've been here for a few days now and the show is actually held for two weekends. So we're here the first weekend and it is actually President's Day weekend. So that's when this show is, their indoor show is in February. So the dates are President's Weekend, February 17th through the 20th and then the following weekend. So if you're planning on coming next year, just keep that in mind. The hours, Friday and Saturday, 10 to eight and Sunday, Monday, 10 to six. And in terms of payment, it's $8, you can get a three-day multi-pass for $12, plus they have um, Fridays and Mondays are free for any active military uh, or veterans with ID. And first responders. And first responders, yes. So the location is pretty awesome because it's in February, so it can be pulled yeah. out. It's at the Maryland State Fairgrounds in Timonium, Maryland. It is all indoors. I just dropped my... Not... <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Just dropped my water bottle. So We're not going to edit that out. It's broken down into three separate buildings. So you have the one main building is the Cow Palace. Cow Palace, yep. That's where a lot of your motorized and your bigger RVs are. Right. And then you have two other buildings. One medium size and then one much smaller. Where you have your smaller trailers, uh, smaller fifth wheels will be in those buildings. So right now we're in the vendor section. Now, is it the Tampa or Hershey vendors size? No, there's a lot, a, a good selection here of many campgrounds, different RV products. Mm -hmm. They have alcohol here, they sell alcohol. They do. Dog trees, all different, different kinds of things that you can choose Cakes. from. Yeah, desserts, mm -hmm. yeah. Then they also have food. So if you're coming for the day, it is a long day. They have pretzels and lemonade and they have, you know, um, actually outside there's different, you know, food offerings that you can have. And the area itself, there's a lot of Plenty of restaurants, here. yeah. Now, regarding the crowds, we got here Saturday. So it runs, what, Friday, Saturday? Friday through Sunday, Monday, yeah. through Monday for two weeks. Very crowded on Saturday. Yeah. Sunday, it's right now, it's about 10.57. There's an okay crowd. Certainly not what it was yesterday. But it is picking up. I know. But it's not yeah. a bad thing, right? So we go no? to the Tampa show, the Hershey show. That's like a, a zoo. It doesn't suck the energy out of it. <laughs> right, like some of right. Those shows do. What I like about this one is we have time to really spend with people because we're not rushing to our next meetup right. or, or, you know, meeting or whatever. So we're really enjoying it. So if you're wondering what kind of RVs they have here, now we've been to some local shows and there's really not much to offer, but this is pretty cool here. So they have small trailers all the way up through diesel motorhomes. So, you know, a wide variety, as we said, there's three buildings, so they spread them out. You're going to find, you know, entry level trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes, and they have up through, you know, they had a new Marventana, Ventana they have a Tiffin, highest, yeah, yeah, they have Tiffin motorhomes and things like that, but there's something for everybody here. Now, it doesn't mean if it's not at the show, the dealership doesn't that you have can't it. Get it right. You're indoors, so you're kind of limited on space. Mm -hmm. So they, like MJ said, they do have quite a lot here. Definitely a day's worth of walking for sure. Oh, at least because of the different buildings. You know, if you're looking for something, you're going to need more than one day because you're going to be going on and off and taking notes and everything. You know, they have the teardrops and I mean, it just a, a multitude of RVs here. So let's talk about pricing here. The pricing varies. As everybody knows, MSRPs are higher. They're not really moving much. Not, but they're not going up as much as they used right. to go up. The good thing is that there are show discounts pretty much on everything we've seen. Now, the range is there. Mm -hmm. More popular units are not discounted as much, but we have seen 10% all the way up to like 30%. Th yeah. And that's just the that's show without, price. Right, without any negotiating. The show price, that's always negotiable. Right. And you should probably not be paying the show price anyway. But good to see that not only at this show but other shows that's happening right so what do we think about this show so this is our first year here as we said there was some good things a couple things that we didn't like but overall i think it's definitely a show that we would come back to we love that it's climate controlled mm -hmm. if we were searching for an rv or we just weren't coming to film i think it's a great show for people to come to if you're looking for something to do on a weekend Especially if you in were the winter the first time at a show it's not so overwhelming not, right, so some of the right. bigger ones are just like really overwhelming absolutely it's a good kind of like a ground an wall. entry show yeah some yeah. of the things we don't like and there's really not much 
because you have free parking and it's accessible mm -hmm. to everything. It's indoors, right? So that's good and it's bad because you can't get as many RVs. It's not as limited on the amount of brands that are here, amount of floor plans. Right. Well, you can have a little bit of everything regarding what types of RVs. Right, and that's something that impressed me too. So you have you have Newmar, you have Tiffin, you have Intech, you have Brinkley, the new RVs. You have Little Guy Max. You have I mean all Tabs. major brands. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like you know it's just yeah limited to all these different brands. So you have like a little bit of everything. So in the comments below, let us know: Have you been to the Maryland RV Show? Have you been to any other shows? Right. If you if you have a favorite RV show that you've been to, because there's so many around the country that we probably haven't even heard of, let us know because we're always looking for new shows to go to. And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV tours. We'll also put our RV campground review playlist. And for myself and MJ's Journey to Lifetime, and we'll see, see you on the road. road.